We must have a face, like Barcelona and United. They have a face, what they represent. So I think my task is to create a philosophy. For example, we dominate in ball possession and without the ball. We all play the same system. We play 4-3-3 because I think in that system you will, you will create the, more, the most exceptional qualities. The wingers high, yes. The striker high, the second striker uh, beside him. We play behind one against one because there's better development for the defenders. Because there's no result. There's no result for, for a youth team. Of course we want to win, but we want to win in style. We must win in development. I think one of the big challenges that we see here is that when players get one-on-one -on -one with a player is that they struggle to get out of those situations. And I think a lot of the work that Ricardo's done has focused on can you solve solutions and when you're under pressure as a player, can you get out of those tight situations and there's always elements of attack, always elements of defence and stress the importance of transition. That when you lose the ball, can you get it back within five seconds? When you win the ball, can you score a goal within eight seconds? So it's continually challenging players to develop technically, but also to challenge their almost speed of thought so they're always switched on and in tune with the game. I'm convinced that talent is not born. Talent is making hours. And talent is must be supported by the coaches. And the coach is not important. The coach only guides the kids and uh, let the self-confidence and the, the character structure grow at the same uh, speed as the football development. So every day they have success development on the ball. And the coach must be a part that the self-confidence yeah, must grow every day. At the moment that happens, Red Bull will create their own players for the future and don't have to buy them. The kids have a report card. It's next to the bed. So they, they are the, the self-managing player. Today they had 100 ball contacts. Right, left, crossing, heading, one against one. Uh, see downs, defending qualities. Eh? Be a leader, take initiative. But they, they must refine it at home. Well, I think it's important that we do have a, a global philosophy that starts uh, at the top and trickles all the way down. Uh, through the academies and through the grassroots programme and at the same time it's important that what we're doing at the grassroots programme supports what's happening at the older levels. I think as Ricardo spoke earlier that one of the biggest issues here in the US and maybe across the world is that players that are ages 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 are missing out on the basics of the game and a lot of what we've done today is going back to the basics when we're working day in and day out in educating our staff, it's important always to have fresh material and a, a new approach. So I think everyone's left at today's session extremely motivated and they're going to take what they've learned today and the philosophy and the approach back to their own communities. Seeing someone like Ricardo come in with such passion and such intensity, it, 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 it reignites you. And uh, I mean, even beyond the technical and tactical things that we did see, it was just great to get that, that, that enjoyment of coaching and playing. The total focus must be, through football, my life quality can be better. So, so simple is it, and maybe it's an extreme goal, but I'm convinced also the kids who don't want to make it will have a fantastic character structure.